we're gonna come up here and see if we can't get one of these birds to gobble tonight so we can figure out exactly where he's at for tomorrow morning. I'm just gonna cut with a mouth call a little bit, like I had going up to roast. See if he gobbles. Changed plans this morning. I hit a bird goblin down on ours across the woodlot. At least that's where I think he's goblin. I have a heck of a time figuring out where these things are. But it sounds to me like he's not on the backside of ours. So we're gonna go back around the block and see if we can't figure out where the heck this thing's at. But there's one goblin for sure. Okay, we had another change of plans. On my way to where I was going before, I heard another bird gobble. That is way more accessible. So we're making a move on him right now.
Well, that's about as close as it comes without killing one right there. I had those long beards. I would figure 60, 65 yards is the closest they got. I've killed turkeys at 60 yards before, but I'd rather not take a chance. Once these turkeys get a little farther away from me, I'm going to pace it just to make sure that I'm thinking right. But I think they're just over 60 yards, which is, I don't want to shoot them that far. I can, but I don't. I think we'll get another opportunity at these birds. I'm going to let them work away down this ravine, and then we're going to swing way out in front of them. But man, they put on a show for me. Everything went great other than just shooting them. Okay, I'm heading back to the house here and uh, I gotta get to work, but I wanted to wrap this video up. Finally, I got onto some goblin birds on the roost and uh, was only about five to 10 yards from uh, capitalizing on it. They just need to come a little bit more and the hens ended up going over this ravine and I wasn't able to get the, the shot at them that I was looking for. I have killed turkeys at 60 yards, but it's not something that I really want a chance, you know, with it being 
early on in the season and there's so few turkeys around, the last thing I'd want to do is blow them birds out of where they're at right now. And that's the other thing, they're in kind of a, a goofy spot, which is why I haven't been able to find them. They're in a, the woods that they're in isn't weird. There's birds in that woods, but it's where they're roosting. I've never seen them in all the years that I've hunted roost in the area that these birds are roosting in. And this is part of the reason I've had trouble the last week locating them because they're over this big hill and where they're gobbling, I have trouble telling directions with my hearing. And it actually sounds like it's coming from the opposite direction. So this morning I thought that, I thought the same thing. I thought, well, they're right on the backside of ours uh, in the area that they were. And I started going over there to go back and they gobbled again. And I'm like, holy crap, they're a totally opposite direction of where I thought they actually were. So that's why I was going back and forth this morning like I was lost but you know luckily they gobbled enough that I was able to pin them right down and figure out where they were you know if they only gobble two or three times I'm really in trouble if I don't actually get get them figured out where they're at but we have them pinned down I know right where they are they're in a world of shit tomorrow I think Kaylee's gonna be able to hunt and I think Kaylee's gonna jellyhead one of these things so this is the same three gobblers that I called into Caden on the youth hunt. They're still sticking together with each other. But uh, this is one of those cases too, I thought maybe uh, the uh, if I had that full strut decoy with me, I think I, I think these birds would have ran right into it. You know, they were super hot and dominant birds. They were chasing the jakes around. Uh, I think if I would have shown them that full tail fan, they would have got pissed off and came, you know, at least 10 or 15 yards closer for me to get uh, you know the shot that I needed but it was an awesome hunt I got an unbelievable uh, show of strutting gobbling and uh, carrying on right in front of me we'll be back at them tomorrow morning uh, hopefully Kaylee's gonna be able to go I think she's gonna be able to and uh, we're gonna take one out or two maybe we'll double up who knows but thanks for watching I'm excited you're gonna want to watch the next episode because I have a feeling there will be flopping. See you on the next one.